Hundreds of Rochester students and their decked out robots are competing right now in a Lego robotics competition put on by IBM. The tournament is piquing students' interest in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math. KIMT News Stories' Brandon Code is joining us live from Rochester Community and Technical College, where it's all going down, or should I say gearing up. Brandon. Yeah, Jess, I'm with two competitors right here from Holy Spirit School, and yeah, from Zoe and Sam, and we got a nice cool robot right here they built, and yeah, Zoe, how did you build it? So, when we were in our classroom, we had to get all, we had this big le Lego set where we had to like put all of it together, and here's our motor where we had to stick in the pole and build on, and then when it, when it rolls, it can knock down the pins. Wow, can you show that for me? Oh, okay, that's pretty cool, and you know, plus with these two, over 300 Rochester students students are designing and have a designing and building these robots since September and now after all this hard work the day has finally come to show it off. Now from fourth graders to twelfth graders, students programmed and built their Lego robots to participate in a series of challenges. Some of the competitions are coding the robot to maneuver around a maze of pegs, playing shuffleboard and picking up items and bringing them back to their home base. IBM says it's a great way for kids to explore the world of STEM and also connect with other students with similar interest. I spoke with one team and they shared with me th what they learned from building their robots. We just like working together yeah. because like we made a lot of things working together. We've learned how to code, different codes to make a robot move. Teamwork works better together. Yeah, Zoe and Sam had to head out because they're actually re revealing the results of who won this whole competition. Now, about 14 area Rochester schools are present here tonight with about 60 volunteers from IBM and community members helping out with the event. Live in Rochester, Brandon Coat, KIMT News 3. Thank you, Brandon. I love to see how invested those kids are in their projects. That's really fun. According to Minnesota Compass, just over half of the state's fifth graders meet or exceed state science standards.